Name one gangster in America that owns a whole city. Bring it on. Name one gangster in, a, in the history of America that owns a state. Bring None. You can't name one. Right. But God says he gave you the earth. Right. He said he gave you the earth. Right. So let me weigh this out. God said I'm the ruler of the earth. But I grew up thinking being a gangster is cool. Which one should I choose to be? A god or a gangster? You got to think about it. <laughs> if you got to think about that, brother, you are sick. Hey, what's going on, brothers back there? I see you real animated by Free Somebody. Right. I see y'all brothers back there. A couple of y'all listening because you know there's some truth to it. But this brother right here, he decided to come up here and figure out what we got going on. This Bible is your history book. Right. Whether you know it or not and whether you want to accept it, you may clown the Bible, but you're clowning your forefathers. Right. All right? You're in captivity in America today thinking that you're a gangster. You're a GD. You're 7-4. You ate trade. Guess what? We used to be them dumb niggas too. Right. We ain't, just wake, we ain't just wake up yesterday and start reading the Bible. We used to do the same thing. But I want to show y'all, brother, something. Because this is love. It's not to incite you to do evil or to have hatred for your brother. Matter of fact, give me that in Leviticus chapter 19 real quick. I'm going to show you something because the problem in our community is we hate each other. That's right. We got gang rivals in each other. We wonder why we can't rise up and take over these people that are constantly oppressing us because we are oppressing each other. Right. Listen to this. Read. Leviticus chapter 19 verse 17. Bring it out. That's your nut. Hate thy brother in that heart. God wrote this here for black people. The Bible is a black book. That's right. The scripture says, thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. This is love. How many Christian pastors have come out here on Broad River to try to teach black people who are oppressed, black people who are downtrodden, black people who are being shot by Chinese people in their own community? How many pastors have come out here to try to teach you that you're the greatest people on the earth? Bring it out. That these gangs and these different uh, 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 systems that have been created to oppress us has us at odds against each other. You got blood on blood nowadays. You got, you got deuces killing 60s. Right. You got 74 killing 79. Right. You think I can't speak the language? Yeah. I did that too. Teacher. I come from the same block, from the same corner. Did the same dumb things that y'all out there doing right now. Right. But then I heard the word of God. Right. That caused me to wake up to teach my people that we're the greatest people on the earth. Yeah. Right. That these gangs have separated us. Right. I, I know, I get why you're walking off, but it's good. That's, a, that's good. Take it to your grandmother. But the thing is, if nobody teaches you that you're an Israelite, that you that God created you in his image and after his likeness, you ain't never going to learn that. That's I get you. I guarantee you that pastor that's down the street ain't never told you that. Right. Listen real good. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. The Bible says we're supposed to correct each other. That's this right. is correction. Right. Yeah, you gang banging. I get it. I know why. I understand the oppression. I understand the system that has put us in this condition. Right. So we gang bang. We live this life because we feel like there is no other life. Right. There is only one life, but I'm here to tell you, there's a whole other life that you have yet to hear about, that you have yet to understand according to what God has prepared for them that understand how to keep his commandments. That's Give me that in Titus chapter 3 real quick. Read. Titus, chapter 3, verse 3. Bring it out. We ourselves also were sometimes foolish. You see what the Bible say? It says we ourselves were also sometimes foolish. I was foolish too. Woke up with a blood in my mouth, went to sleep with one in my mouth. Right. Woke up with a pistol on my lap, all day long with a pistol in my lap. Right. Took many years for me to understand that. Because I got a pistol and I smoke weed and I'm out here hitting every female that I can find. That don't make me no man. Right. I guarantee you, some of you ain't got your own house. Right. Some of you ain't got your own car. Some of you ain't got $500 in a bank account. Yes. But we gang banging and we living the life. How? 
when somebody comes through and put, your, put somebody to death in your set, you go back, put somebody to death in their set, next thing you know, you dead on the block, who gonna pay for your funeral? Right. That death, that death ticket is gonna be left to your family members to pay for your funeral. They can't even bury you, they gotta burn you. Cause it's cheaper. Y'all gotta wake up, black man. That's right. You gotta wake up. Give me uh, uh, Exodus, what's that, Exodus 22? Exodus 23 and 2, falling out of a multitude? Yeah. Get that real quick. This is, this is the point. We are here talking about gangs here in Columbia, South Carolina. We're talking about banging. You got a host of bangers over here right now. Right. Don't think that, oh, we just some brothers that woke up and all of a sudden started reading the Bible. Nah. We talking about years, we talking about years on the street, years on the corner, years of selling dope. Half the stuff I did, probably some of you probably will never do. Right. <laughs> but I changed. Read. Exodus chapter 23, verse 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Now have we known this when Larry Hoover and Shawty and the whole uh, 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 Crip and Blood community came together to start forming, we would not be so caught up and entangled in this trap called gangs. Right. God said, follow not a multitude to do evil. Right. But that's what we do. Read it again. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Neither shall thou speak in a cause to the crime as a meaning to rest judgment. So we ain't supposed to do that. We're supposed to gather ourselves together. Zephaniah 2 verse 1. That's what we're supposed to be doing. We think that gangs in the gang life, we think we come together. You know what I'm saying? We throwing, we throwing, we throwing signs. You know what I'm saying? We got our little handshake. Yeah, that, that's the life. Until somebody put your ass to death. Right. And then grandma gotta put your nick. Grandma gotta bury you. Cause mama go somewhere strung out on drugs on drugs. And right. daddy ain't been there since the time you came out the womb. Wake him up. We ain't we ain't come to this knowledge yet. We still wanna perpetuate the same. Look, bro, I love you, bro. I love you, bro. I did all that. I did all that except I had money. I ain't stand up at no store. Right. I ain't do that. I ain't, stand up, I ain't stand up at a gas station, you know what I'm saying, flogging and flagging. Nah, I ain't, I ain't do that. Hey, it's, Cause you got a chain don't mean you got life insurance. Bring it out. Wake him up. Cause you got a gold chain don't mean you got life insurance. That's I guarantee right. you, you ain't got no bit of life insurance. Right. I bet you. <laughs> oh yeah? I bet you, you ain't got your own crib. I bet right. you, you ain't got your own car. Right. Right. Listen. Wake them up. But this ain't about no hatred. I'm not against you. I'm not against you. We are not against you, brothers. Right. We are here for you. That's right. We're not against you. That's right. What, are, what we're saying is change your mindset. Right. Change your mindset. We're not against our people. Right. We ain't no gang. See, we, we ain't no gang. But we do bang for God. You feel right. me? Right. We're going to stand up for the truth. That's right. That's what we got to stand on. If we're going to come together, let's come together under the banner of truth. Right. Let's come together under the banner of raising up our children with fathers. Right. Let's raise up our mothers, our, our, our children's mothers, take care of, their, take care of our kids' mother. Right. Right. Let's marry them sisters and not make them hoes. Right. Let's do that. Let's change our community and change our mind by doing what God says. Right. Give me Psalms chapter 19 and verse 7. Wake them up. Let's do that. Let's jump on that tip. We done gangbanged for years and ain't got a damn thing in the community. Right. We done had gold chains and big rims for years and ain't got a damn thing in the community. Right. Let's finally turn around and do what God says and see what we can get. Right. Read. Psalms chapter 19 verse 7. The law of the Lord is proof. God gave the chosen people, you brothers out there, you the gods of this earth. You ain't no gangster. You a god. You not no gangster, bro. You are a god on earth. That's right. But you're acting like a full-blown nigga. That's right. You're not a gangster. I know you. You're the children of God. That's right. You're God's son. You ain't no gangster. That was created by the white man. Give him that shit back. Right. That gangster tough man stuff, that was created by the white man. Give him his beautiful leg crap back. Right. You're a god on the earth. Be a god. Don't be a gangster. Right. Read it again. The law of the Lord is perfect. Converting the soul. God says his laws are perfect converting the soul. Why? Because I'm going to see my brother for who he is. When I see you, I don't see a nigga. Right. I see Christ in you, bro. That's right. 
It's, the, it's Christ's blood that's running through our veins. We brothers. I ain't never met you. But guess what? I guarantee you, your people came on here on them damn slave ships like mine did. Right. I guarantee you, me and your people worked them fields together. I guarantee you the same system that's oppressing me and you is oppressing them same brothers out there on that car. I guarantee you that. But there is one thing we got to do. We got to change this. We got to change this right here. We got to reform our minds from what America has taught us. Right. We got to reform our minds from all of the idols and all of the enemy, all of what the enemy has given us as idols. Yo, 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 uh, Larry Hoover's. Yo, yo, Black Panthers, you don't need that either. You don't need none of the gangster shit that, you're, that our oppressor has given us. You know why? Because God said that you are God on the earth. That's right. The whole earth belongs to you, bro. Right. The whole earth belongs. Give me Psalms chapter 80, 82. Read. Psalms chapter 82, verse 6. Break it up. I have said, ye are God. That's how I know you ain't no gangster. This is how I know you ain't no gangster. What, what did God say to black men on earth? I have said, ye are God. God says, the most High God said that you are God. Right. That's how I know you ain't no gangster. Right. You are a God. Right. Now, let me ask you. Now, really, I want you to weigh this out. The most High God, creator of heaven and earth, the father who punished us and put us into captivity, right. he said you are God on the earth. Do you want to be a gangster? <laughs> Hell no. Why the hell would I want to be a gangster if the man that made a sun, a moon, and the stars said that I'm a god and all I got to do is change and come back to keeping his laws? Right. See, we, we don't realize that this Bible is written for us to reform ourselves and come back to being gods. Right. That's right. We don't want to read the damn thing. It's on all, I guarantee you, all of them, if their grandma's alive, grandma got a, a table at home with a Bible on it and it got dust on it. Right. Don't even open it. Right. But your history is in there. The right. same slave ships that God said he was going to put us on, these same slave ships are written in the Bible. God said, I chose y'all, but y'all want to do the opposite. I gave you the earth, but you don't want the earth. You want to be a gangster. Right. Now, let, let's weigh this out. How many gangsters in America own cities? Name one gangster in America that owns a whole city. Bring it on. Name one gangster in, a, in the history of America that owns a state. Bring None. You can't name one. Right. But God says he gave you the earth. Right. He said he gave you the earth. Right. So let me weigh this out. God said I'm the ruler of the earth. But I grew up thinking being a gangster is cool. Which one should I choose to be? A god or a gangster? You got to think about it. If you got to think about that, brother, you are sick. Right. Give me Isaiah 51 and verse 20. 51 and verse 20. I'm going to show you something. The Bible is a true book. What's your nationality? Huh? Spiritual. Is spiritual or nationality? And look, we're not out here to beat you up and see how much knowledge you got. We, I, I want to show you something. It's not a nationality. It's what you make it. I'm going to show you something in a minute. Read this. Isaiah chapter 51 verse 20. As he read this, I want you to look up there. Read. Thy sons have fainted. God said the sons that he created to be gods on the earth, they have fainted. What does it mean to faint? To pass the hell out. Yo, yo, you, 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 you sleep. You out of there. God said what? Thy sons have fainted. They done passed out. Read. They lie at the head of all the street. They lie where? At the head of all the street. Now you can go from this neighborhood to another neighborhood. What you gonna see? If you go from that neighborhood to all the way to Georgia, to a hood in Georgia, what you gonna see? From a hood in New York, what you gonna see? All across the world, you go to the hood, you gonna see what? Read that bottom precept. They lie at the heads of all the street. We lie at the heads of all the street, the sons of God. Right. We have fainted and forgotten that we're the children of Israel. Right. Right. You're not spiritual. You are from one of these tribes right here. Right. When you look at this sign, you have to look at this sign. Come and look at it. When you read this, on this side, God calls you. This is the name that God gave you. On this side is the name that your oppressor gave you. Right. So if you think you're black or African-American, that is not who you are. 
Right. You, the white man gave you that name in slavery. Right. Wake your ass up. That's right. You are not black. Black is the color of his shirt. Black is the color of the truck. Black is the color of our boots and our pants. That is not a nationality. Right. African American is two white men. Right. Leo Scipio Africanus and Amerigo Vespucci. You can't come from two white men either. That's right. So why not do some research and go back to find out who you are? Give me that in Job. Prepare ourselves for the search of our fathers. Give me that in Job. That's what you gotta do. We gotta go to grandma and tell her, look, let me borrow this Bible that's been sitting on your stand for 25 years that I ain't never seen you open so that I can find my history. Right. Read. Job, chapter 8 and verse 8. Break it out. For inquire, I pray thee, of the former age. God said, inquire, brother. What's your name? Max. God says, inquire about your former age. Because in school, you ain't never learned that you're an Israelite. They ain't never told you that. Right. They ain't never told us that we were the Israelites. They said, no, you black, so I'm going to put on this application. When you go to fill out an application after we, after we oppress you in school and make you drop out of school, you're going to go and you're going to apply for a job and you're going to choose black. Right. They took all the, good, all the good shows off of TV, Bill Cosby, right. shows that had families that had uh, uh, good jobs and trying to raise their people up, and they put a show on TV called Blackish. Right. You want to be blackish. Bring it Don't be blackish, bruh. Be a God. Right. Most our God said you a God on the earth. You ain't black. It's funny till it ain't funny. You know what is funny? I guarantee you, there'll be a funeral next week from a gangster. Right. In every city, in every state across America. That's right. Guarantee you. You mad at us. But who you should be mad at is that Chinese man that killed Cyrus on the on the, on, the, on the street on the streets down there. That's who you should be mad at. You should be mad that they can shoot us down in the streets and get away with it. That's what you should be mad at. Wake them up. You want to change something in your community? You should find out what God says we should do to change our community so that we ain't drugged in our, drugged in our own streets. So we ain't murdered like dogs here in America. That's what you should be mad at. Right. You should gather yourself together like God said. That's how you take over a nation. That's how you rule the world. That's how you come back to what God says. God says prepare yourself for the search of your fathers. Find out who your forefathers were. When you start going through this book, you're going to find out that Christ is your brother. You're going to find out Jeremiah is your brother. Right. You're going to find out all of the men in this book were black men. They are your people. Right. They've always came to teach the children of Israel, wake up and keep God's commandments. Right. All of the prophets did that. But now, you know what I'm saying? We gangsters. Right. You know damn gangster. Right. You're the son of God and you need to start acting like you. Read it again. Right. That's right. For inquire, I pray thee, of the former age, and prepare thyself to the search of their father. you got to prepare yourself Prepare yourself, meaning get, your, get a Bible, King James Version, who was a black man, your brother. Open it up. First, before you open it, you need to go to God and ask God, please, God, when I open this Bible, give me some understanding of who I am in this Bible. Because if you ask any of them gangsters out there who they is, you know what they're going to say? I'm black. Ask them their nationality. I guarantee you they're going to say, I'm black. Right. Hell, some of them going to say, I'm Hoover. There ain't no damn nationality. Right. Right. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. You want to take over Colombia? If you mad about what that Chinese man did to Cyrus and you want to get, get some get back, repent and come back and do what God say. Yeah.
I guarantee you, when you start understanding the parables of God, you're going to change something. Right. You're going to change something. You know what's going to change? Your whole mind is going to change. You're going to become a man then. Because right now, we ain't men. Right now, we just boys. We just boys trying to be men. But the Bible has the instruction on how you can change that. Isaiah 51 and 20 again. It's a, it's a shame. You come to teach your people and they get mad at you. Right. They mad because you tell them the truth. Give me that. They mad because you tell them the truth. Right. I'm telling you the truth. I know you're not a gangster because I know who God created. Right. You, my brothers, are the son and daughters of God. That's who you are. That's right. There's no way in the hell you can be a gangster. I'm going to tell you what's gangster. Gangster is to put a whole nation of people in slavery. Right. That's right. That's gangster. Right. Gangster is when you make a whole nation of people forget that they are the chosen people of God and you take their nationality and you start calling yourself the chosen people of God. Right. Now that's gangster right there. Right. Well, that's, that's some gangster-ish right there. Right. You want to be a gangster? Take your nationality back. Right. Now that's gangster. Stop calling yourself black. Stop calling yourself African-American right. and call yourself an Israelite. That's right. Call yourself the son of God. Right. Read. Isaiah chapter 51 and verse 20. Thy right, sons have fainted. Y'all brothers fainted. Y'all knocked out. You sleep. You sleep. God right. says y'all have fainted. Come on. They lie at the head of all the streets. Now you're going to leave the head of this street. Then you're going to go to the hood and be at the head of another street. Right. Damn, you can't see that the Bible is telling you who you are? You're going to leave the store when it closed, if it closed. You might leave the C-Mart and go to the damn QT. Right. Lie at the head of the street. Come on. As a wild bull in a net. Y'all like wild bulls in a net. That's why you you so adamant about throwing your gang signs and saying you do do what the woo. You know what I'm saying? Because we're reading the Bible. Right. You are like a bull in a net. You don't know your nationality, you oppressed, you mad at the world, you hate your brother, you hate your sister, you're like a bull in a net, come on. They are full of fury of the Lord. You are full of the fury of God. You know why? Because you don't know your nationality. Right. All you got to do is open the book. The book is going to tell you that you're the chosen people. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. What I had you holding? What I had, what I had you holding? I forgot what it is. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Deuteronomy 7 and verse 6. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. That's how I know you ain't a gangster. Because God said you holy. Gangsters ain't holy. Gangsters pop pills. They kill each other. They whore out their sisters. That's what gangsters do. Right. But God says you are the chosen people. You're the holy people. Read it again. For thou art an holy people. No, they're some gangsters. For thou art an holy people, seven four. A holy people, rolling sixty. A holy people, uh, 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 blood. For thou art an holy people. God say you a holy people. You ain't no damn gangster. Read unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. God chose you. We ain't come out here because we chose you. God chose you. Like the officer said, the first blood in was right here. Right. This is blood in right here. This is the truth about who you are. This is your blood in right here. You need to dedicate your life to this. Because right, right. Larry Hoover ain't got a damn thing to give you. Right. They ain't got nothing to give you. They ain't got a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. Right. Read. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Now let's think about it. God says you are special unto him. You going to tell me you going to choose your game over God, right. if the sky cracked right now, and that black man came down and said, choose you this day, gangster or God, I guarantee you, you're going to choose God. That's right. If that sky cracked right now, and Christ came back and gave you the ultimate ultimatum, that's right, yeah. I said it right, the ultimate ultimatum, choose you this day, be a God or be a gangster, I guarantee you, you're going to choose to be a God. Because right. you ain't never in your life seen, no, seen the sky crack and somebody come down and give you an ultimatum. Right. But see, that sounds like a fairy tale. A lot of people don't believe that. Right. Hey, give me, the, uh, what's that? It says, nah, I, no eyes here, no uh, ear, no eye have seen, no ear heard. 
Second Corinthians. But I guarantee you, if Christ came today, you would say, I'm not a gangster. I relinquish my membership as a as a thug. I relinquish my membership. First Corinthians two and nine. You would you would you you would adamantly tell Christ, I would just <laughs> I would just plan. I, 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 I'm sorry, I, I would just plan, but I'm gonna show you. Read this. First Corinthians chapter two and verse nine. But as it is written, I have not seen. It says, I. Your eyeballs have not seen. Your eyeballs have seen all the misery here on this earth. You've seen all the misery right here on Broad River. That's where we at? On Broad River in Columbia, you see the misery of your people. Just look around. Just look around. The misery of your people is everywhere. You can see that with your own eyes. But God says, no, I have seen, nor ear heard. No ear has heard, neither have entered into the heart of man. It has never even entered in the heart of any man. The things which God has prepared for them that love him. To love God means to do what? I guarantee you, you and grandmama will get this wrong right now. Grandmama will mess this up. How do you love God? Brother right here in the yellow shirt against the uh, sign. My brother right here. You want to ignore me? That's all right. Brother right here at the gas station yelling out, green, green shirt. What kind of car that is? That's a, uh, a Lincoln. Lincoln. Brother with the Lincoln right here, the green shirt. How do you love God? How do you love him? You ain't got to come, just scream it out. Right. How do you love God? I guarantee you, I bet you a million dollars you'll get it wrong. Oh, I bet I bet a million, I ain't got that. <laughs> but I bet you $10 you'll get it wrong. Right. How do you love God? Wake him up. Nobody knows. Because if I knew, I was screaming out. Right. I'd be like, let me get them $10. I'm going to show you. This is how you love God. Read. First John chapter 5 and verse 3. Remember the point. He says, no, I have seen, no, have heard the things that he has prepared for them who love him. So how do you love him? Read. For this is the love of God. This right here is how you love God. The scripture says, he, it says, thou shalt not kill. Right. You shed blood by man's blood, shall yours be shed. Right. That's what the scriptures say. So you wonder why there's so much death all over America. Right. You wonder why there's death everywhere? Because y'all killing each other. Right. But if I asked you, do you love God? You'll say, yeah. Yeah, I love God. Right. But you don't know how. Read it again. For this is the love of God. This right here is how you love God. That we keep his commandments. That you keep the commandments of God. That's how you love him. Right. I'm going to give you a commandment of God. Give me that in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3. This is how you love God. Stop defiling your temple. Right. Put the cigarettes down. Right. Put the weed down. Right. That's how you love God. Right. You know why? Because he loaned you that body. That ain't yours. That's right. Right. Read. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Know ye not that you are the temple of God? You are a God, and you are the temple of God. Right. That's how you know you are God. That's why we can say with, uh, 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 for a surety, you're not a gangster. You are God. Right. God created you. He loaned you that body. He put his spirit there. You are of God. Right. That's who you are. He created you to be a God on the earth. His right. spirit is in you. He said, well, read it again. No, ye not. They are the temple of God. Don't you know that that body is the temple of God? If you love God, you would cherish the temple that he gave you. Right. He says that your body is his temple. Read. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? No, the Spirit of God dwelleth in that damn sign right there. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? No, the Spirit of God dwelleth in that damn pole right there. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? The Spirit of God dwells in you. That's right. That's why we know you're God. You're not a gangster. Right. I'm going to keep saying it until you confirm it in your own mind. Damn, he right. I'm not a gangster. Right. Because you're not, brother. Right. Read it. If any man defile the temple of God, if you defile that temple, smoking, drinking, popping pills, doing all the foolishness on the earth, if you defile that temple, come on, him shall God destroy. God is going to destroy you. Right. You will be destroyed, bro. But because you're not destroyed yet, you figure it's all good. Give me that in Ecclesiastes chapter 8. Because God has not destroyed you yet, you think, you know what? This is the freaking life. Roll another one. This is the life. Pop another one. Rolling, 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 rolling. 
I'm geeked up, might be geeked up. Come on, man. Right. You know how stupid you sound. Wake him up. Read. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 11. Break so because God ain't killed you yet, because God has not had made you have a heart attack. You know when you open it, when you get when you buy that pack of cigarettes, that black and mild, and you flip it on the back, it says Surgeon General Warning. This cigarettes contains over 3,000 carcinogens and does cause cancer. That's what the damn pack say. Right. But black people don't like to read. Right. Read. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Because God don't put you to death as soon as you smoke the cigarette, as soon as you drag on the cigarette, because God don't put you to death, come on. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Your mind is set to do evil because God don't punish you immediately. I guarantee you, bro, sitting in the truck, because you listening. You listening, bro, I see you. You listening, I guarantee you. I want you to shake your head. You ain't got to get out. I want you to shake your head. The first time you smoked a cigarette or smoked a blunt, did you cough? Bring it out. Why do you think you coughed? Because that shit ain't supposed to go in your body. Yeah. It don't belong in there. Right. The temple of God is to be holy. That's why you coughed. You coughed because God did not make cigarettes for man to smoke. He didn't make weed for man to smoke. Un unlike they were saying in the Bahamas and in Jamaica, I remind, smoke another one, man. No, bruh. God said that your temple is holy. Read it again. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. So when, when you when you drug off of that cigarette the first time, you took a drug off of that uh, blunt for the first time, because you didn't die, you know what your mind said? Hmm, that wasn't so bad. Let's do it again. And then again, and then again, and again, and again, and again, and again. But because God ain't put you to death yet, you think it's okay. Read it from the top. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Because God don't put you to death speedily. Come on. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. It's set in our minds to do evil. You know why? Because from the time that we are a child, a child's mind is like a piece of paper. Y'all got kids? Shake your head, brother in the truck. You got kids? When that kid, when that baby was born, right? When that baby was born, that baby's mind is like a piece of paper. It ain't a blank piece of paper. It ain't got nothing on it. And then it grows. You feed him, you nurture him, he grows, and he starts to pay attention to everything around him. He sees daddy drinking. He sees that he see the smoke coming out dad's mouth. It look cool. He sees it for year after yeah. year. Mama doing it. Cousins doing it. Uncles doing it. Everybody he sees is doing it. What you think in his mind he gonna do? He gonna do the same thing. Right. Because that's what's being written on the minds of that baby. Everything he sees around him. So the conditions that we live in were already pre- could pre-made conditions before we got to this age. Right. Right. Everything that we're doing right now, it was a condition set in place before we got to this age. By who? The same people that brought your ancestors over here on them slave ships. Right. Right. Their job is to continue to come up with ideas, to continue to come up with policies, to continue to come up with agreements and arrangements to keep the black community oppressed. Show them gangster movies. Don't show them no movies or no TV shows where black families are actually coming together, where black families are actually uh, building something. Take Bill Cosby off the TV. Let's degrade him. Let's destroy his character so nobody wants to follow or watch any of his shows. Let's take good times off of the TV. The struggling family who had a faith in Christ but the white man. Right. Let's take uh, 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 the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Let's take, we got to take that off of TV because these blacks who we thought we had subjugated and put and oppressed at the bottom, they're learning faster than us. They're producing faster than us. Right. Everything they do is better and faster than us. We can't allow them to get an education because then they become better than us. Right. So now we wonder why we're in the conditions that we're in. Look around you, bruh. Look around you and understand that these conditions were thought about, pre-made, and we are now suffering the conditions. Give me that in Baruch. Give me that in Baruch. We are yet this day in captivity. That's what you got to understand. This is not 
the kingdom of heaven. Right. This is captivity, bro. Right. We were brought here because our forefathers broke God's commandments. Right. We were brought here to learn a punishment. You say you got a child, you got kids, right? When your kids get out of line, what do you do? If they don't do what you say, what do you do? You punish them? Yeah, you punish them. If that little boy, if, they, if you got a little boy, and you tell that little knucklehead, look, boy, I want you back in the house before the damn street lights come down, click turned on. And he don't get in the house, what you gonna do when he get in there? You gonna hold it to him. You gonna get it to him. You might, you ain't gonna kill him, but you gonna punish him. That's the same thing God did to us. Right. He gave us the world. He gave us everything. And he told us, keep the commandments and I'm gonna bless you. You're gonna be, you're gonna sit at the pinnacle of everybody and everything on earth. But we went against that. So God punished us. Right. What was his punishment? Slavery. Slavery is the punishment that black people receive from God. It's going to be, a, the only this is going to go away. Only for those that hear this word, repent and change their lives though. Right. Two thirds of our people would die right here in America. Don't let it be you. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role. 